Hi everyone again. This is an update on uh, some articles I found about Senator Warren's of the nuke strike on South Carolina after missing nuke report. It's 10.33 p.m. September 5th, 2013. This one is on before its news. It says Senator Lindsey Graham has warned South Carolinians about the threat of a terrorist, terrorist nuclear attack. On the same day that our exclusive high level military intel revealed to us that nuclear warheads were being shipped to South Carolina from a major Texas Air Force base under an off the record black ops transfer. Found in the CBS report entitled Graham Nicks in the Hands of Terrorists Could Result in Bomb Coming to Charleston Harbor, the report details Graham's warning that a lack of military action in Syria could result in a nuclear bombing in Charleston, South Carolina, the very destination of the Black Ops nuclear transfer, the CBS report reads. Graham says if there is no U.S. response to Syria, Iran will not believe America's resolve to block Iran from developing nuclear weapons. Graham also says those nuclear weapons in the hands of terrorists could result in a bomb coming to Charleston Harbor. Graham is quite literally saying that if we do not launch a war with Syria, South Carolina may be nuked. And this ultimately reeks of yet another false flag being orchestrated by the United States government in order to send us into war, or at the very least, a threat, except this time we're talking about nuclear weapons. Amazingly, we were the first to get intel on this from our credible and extremely high-level military source who told us the following. Dias is beginning to move out nuclear warheads today. I got a tap from Dermo earlier. He said it was the first time they have been even acknowledged since being put there in the 80s. No signature was required for the transfer. There was no directive. He said that Diane's commander was on the site to give authority to release. No one knew where they were going, really, but the truck driver said to take them to South Carolina and another pickup for them from there. This was sent to us before Graham's report came out warning about the nuclear attack on South Carolina and coincides exactly with what Graham is saying. I am deeply concerned by these findings and ask everyone to spread the word on this information immediately. Whether or not Graham is receiving intel from higher ups and believes in a legitimate terror attack on the horizon is unknown. But the reality here is that we have intelligence that has linked the unsigned transfer of nuclear weapons to this exact location. And here's a video below that they posted. Um, from InfoWars, probably from the September, that was from the September 3rd. I won't go on and read the rest of this because I want you to have the opportunity to read it yourself at before it's news. However, I did find another article. Well, actually, there's several, but this one looked pretty interesting because it's coming from a breaking news source. Uh, independent news that also the same thing, Senator Graham warns a new strike after missing the report. Um, I don't know if it's exactly the same thing, but it basically says it's warned us South Carolinians about the threat of a nuclear terrorist, nuclear terrorist attack on the same day, and it goes on and on, and I believe it's about the same thing. It may have a little bit of this, you know, I'm not sure. But I won't go through all the rigmarole on it. But I will leave you links to both of these because this is breaking news. And please, people, make this viral. This is very important. Um, we need to get this out so that we can prevent this from happening in case it is a false flag. And all it would take is a new nuclear weapon to go off here in South Carolina. And that would automatically start World War III also. So please, I beg of you, because I do live here. I'm 120 miles from Charleston, uh, about 18 miles uh, west of, of Columbia, South Carolina. And I 
I'm not scared, and I don't want to see people killed. So please, whatever you do, please, please get this out. If you want to um, use my video on your site, you're welcome to do so. Just send me something, and I'll okay it, or however that works. I've never done that before, but I'll figure it out. Everybody, keep keep me in your prayers. I've got a lot on me right now. I'm going just nerves, um, not just about the war, but a lot of personal things that's happening right now. So keep me in your prayers if you're a praying person. If not, please think good thoughts for me. Okay, I love you guys. Y'all stay safe. Keep your head, keep your eyes open, and God bless you. Thanks for listening. Love you. Bye-bye.